YouTube says it can delete your account if you're not commercially viable. YouTube's new terms of service has a lot of content creators worried that their account could be deleted. The section that is most troubling under YouTube's new terms of service is account suspension and termination. It says, YouTube may terminate your access or your Google account's access to all or part of the service if YouTube believes in its sole discretion that provision of the service to you is no longer commercially viable. So basis means if YouTube thinks that it's not making enough money from your YouTube account, it could delete your account. That doesn't sound good. Should I be worried? Stay tuned to the end of the video to get clarification for YouTube about these new terms of service, how it could drastically affect your income, and what you can do about it. I'll also mention what YouTube says about how you can prepare for these changes. Hi, my name is Herman Trost. If you want to grow your audience on YouTube and generate traffic, leads, and sales on autopilot, hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification icon so you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. Some creators reached out to Team YouTube on Twitter to get further clarification. This was their reply. Thanks for reaching out. There are no changes to monetization in our updated terms of service. There's no change to the actual YouTube experience, the features you have access to, or how you're paid. Here's further clarification from Team YouTube. To clarify, there are no new rights in our terms of service to terminate an account because it's not making money. As before, we may discontinue certain YouTube features or parts of the service, for example, if they're outdated or have low usage. This does not impact creators, viewers in any new ways. What do you think of YouTube's new terms of service? Post your answer in the comments below. I'd love to read them and I'm sure others would too. YouTube recently got fined $170 million by the Federal Trade Commission for alleged violations of the Child Online Privacy Protection Act. This is also known as COPPA. As a result, YouTube has had to make some massive changes to the channel and video settings for all creators on YouTube. You now have to change the settings for your channel and videos as made for kids or not made for kids. Click the link in the card to watch my video on how you can change these settings for your channel, individual videos, and when you upload a new video. If you choose a setting made for kids, YouTube won't run personalized ads on your YouTube videos. YouTube advertisers can choose which ads can be matched to a relevant audience. This means the ads will be put in front of people who may actually want to buy the product based upon their personal browsing or viewing history. It also means that the advertiser will pay more to run a targeted ad. This means your channel will generate more revenue if you choose the settings not made for kids. How could this drastically affect your income? If you file your videos incorrectly, you can get a $42,000 fine if taken to court. You make a video that somewhere out there the FTC or YouTube determines is a video that's primarily directed to kids younger than 13 years of age and you haven't marked it as such then the FTC can sue you for $42,530, get depublication of your video, and perhaps have your account on YouTube entirely terminated. Alternatively, your channel could get suspended or terminated if YouTube finds that you're abusing the system. If you believe your Google account was terminated in error, you can appeal using this form. I'll place a link in the description below this video. YouTube says we recognize this won't be easy for some creators. Number one, file your content correctly. Evaluate whether your content is made for kids, including the age of a kid as defined in your country. In the US, a kid is defined as anyone under the age of 13. Asia, such as South Korea, it's 14 plus, and Vietnam, 15 plus. In the Caribbean, it's over 16. In South America, it's over 14. In Europe, it's between 14 and 16, depending on the countries. Here are some other factors to consider when you evaluate if your content is made for kids. Subject matter of the video, whether children are your intended or actual audience for the video, whether the video includes child actors or models, whether the video includes characters, celebrities or toys that appeal to children, including animated characters or cartoon figures, whether the language of the video is intended for children to understand, whether the video includes activities that appeal to children such as play acting, simple songs, games or early education, whether the video includes songs, stories or poems for children. If just some of your videos on the channel are targeted for kids, just select those videos as made for kids. The rest can be designated as not made for kids so you can receive the full monetization benefits. Number two, use the YouTube Kids app if your children are under 13. This will enable kids to watch videos independently. Number three, learn about other ways to monetize your YouTube channel. YouTube will still serve non-personalized ads if your channel is made for kids. So how can you monetize your YouTube channel 
without displaying personalized ads or AdSense ads? I'm glad you asked. Just watch my next video on how to monetize your YouTube videos without personalized ads or AdSense ads. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.